Monday, September 9th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $24. One Bitcoin is $120. Peace News Now is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. Learn about Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. A video that appeared online this weekend shows a man calling out John McCain for his lies and calls for him to be arrested and tried for treason. Here's a clip from that video. I can say with great confidence and speak on behalf of all Americans that your actions against this country are treasonous. You and the rest of Congress, including the President of the United States, have went against the will of your people. You lied to the American people about the chemical attacks in Syria. The American people know that it was our government that is most likely responsible. The United States has been funding and aiding organizations, including the Muslim Brotherhood and Al-Qaeda, for many years now. The same enemy we're supposed to be defeating on the battlefield. You swore an oath to protect us from all enemies, both foreign and domestic. The simple irony is the domestic enemy now in this country is the people and government of the United States. I would have you all arrested and tried for treason against my country. The American people are sick of it. The American people oppose the going to war with Syria, which includes many Marines and other veterans by the thousands, because nobody wants another war or strike in Syria or anywhere else. Bring our brothers and sisters home. I am truly disgusted that you people are my leaders. This story brought to you by BitcoinNotBombs.com. Donate to Bitcoin-based charities at BitcoinNotBombs.com. In other news, three young students climbed the roof of their middle school during off hours to explore and play. A police officer who arrived took out an M16 semi-automatic rifle and aimed it at the children, even though they were cooperating. The parents are angry, but the school and police say they were justified because the officer was, quote, nervous. Nervousness was also the justification after a school police officer shot and killed 14-year-old Derek Lopez after he got into a scuffle with a fellow student. Derek fled from the school cop rather than submit, and he paid for it with his life. The officer killed him with a bullet to the back out of, quote, fear for his own safety. Video from news stations in Colorado last month showed a law enforcer with a shotgun pointed at a child with his finger ready to pull the trigger. Police there refused to name the officer in question, yet excused his actions as being nervous. Rule number one of gun safety is never point your gun at something you don't intend to shoot. I guess if you're a cop and you're nervous, everyone is fair game. This story brought to you by friends of blockchain.info. Download the free wallet app at blockchain.info. Jeffrey Tucker of the Laissez-Faire Book Club penned an article this week revealing the real story behind the recent fast food strikes. In reality, these were photo op events organized by unions. The media, for the most part, played right into their hands, ignoring the fact that the so-called nationwide strikes only resulted in the closing of one fast food restaurant, a McDonald's in Detroit. In some cases, paid stand-ins were hired by the hour to appear as disgruntled strikers. It's so much more interesting to report that organized labor is sticking it to the suits in corporate, even if they're not. Finally, JG Vibes reports for IntelliHub.com. An off-duty law enforcer named Thomas murdered unarmed 29-year-old Matthew Jackson in San Antonio this Saturday, leaving behind a wife and a -a two-and-a-half-year-old son. Matthew's body was found in the front seat of his car, with his left foot on the ground as he appeared to be shot while sitting in his own vehicle. Police deny this claim, but refuse to present any evidence to the contrary. Matthew's brother said of him, quote, His biggest fear in life was to not be a good dad. Matthew wouldn't have taken any risks because he was a father. The off-duty cop who killed Matthew has been given a paid vacation for as long as the investigation continues. Unfortunately, not much is expected to come up as his friends at the police department are in charge of investigating themselves. The greatest irony, however, is that Matthew's widow and grieving family will continue to pay the salaries of the people who murdered him. Stop paying for this. Peace News Now is on the Next News Network and is brought to you in part by friends of WeUseCoins.com. I want you to share this episode, and if you enjoyed it, send some Bitcoin to donate.peacenewsnow.com. I'm Derek J, reminding you that peace is the way.